at Google Cloud Next 24, and I'm with Tracy and Osvaldo. They're doing a talk about how to protect your workloads with Google Cloud Next Generation Firewall. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Osvaldo. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having us. Can you tell us a little bit about yourselves, what you do here at Google, and then give us a brief description of your talk? All right, my name is Tracy Chen. I'm the product manager for the Cloud Next Generation Firewall. My name is Oswaldo Costa. I'm part of the Cloud Custom Engineer Network Specialist team. Yeah, the talk is about um, the Cloud Next Generation Firewall. We are launching the highest tier of the product um, and with a partnership with Palo Alto Networks. We're also inviting our customer, Walmart, to speak with us and share their experience. Amazing. Okay, that's awesome. So I can't wait to watch that talk. I'm excited. I won't be able to make it in person, but I'll definitely watch the recording. So. Let's talk a little bit about this, right? Can you tell me how does Google Cloud's next generation firewall go beyond the functionalities of a traditional firewall to address kind of modern cloud specific security needs? Sure. Um, you know, a cloud promised the business agility and allow customer to deploy the workload very dynamically into the environment. But that presents a very unique challenge to network security. So now you have to provide the security to those dynamic workload whenever they're coming up somewhere in your cloud. And that is difficult. That's why we are taking actually a very different architectural approach than the rest of the market. We build our firewall as a fully distributed firewall service that's fully integrated into our software-defined network. So now we have a mini firewall engine that follows every workload that you put into our cloud. That's what security follows the workload look like. On top of that, we enforce the hierarchical policy because customers always struggle with how do I apply the consistent control across my dynamic environment. Now in Google Cloud, we allow them to put the firewall policy to the organization or folder level so the security team can easily put a global guardrail to all the workload that they put into the cloud without worrying about and the security being violated somewhere in some project, right? Furthermore, we bring uh, the best um, threat detection capability and response capability from Palo Alto Networks as our partner to integrate that directly into our firewall system so we make it very easily accessible through every network interface in our cloud. And on top of that, we implement integration as a secure tag as a very effective and reliable micro-segmentation mechanism to solve the long struggle that customers face in doing the micro-segmentation and do, does the east-west control to prevent the lateral movement of their threat. So altogether, a lot of functionality, so we look forward to share with our customer. Wow, that's amazing. And of course, security is always a priority and extremely important. So thank you for doing all that work to protect our cloud environments. Amazing. So in terms of this new next generation firewall, can you tell me how easy or challenging it might be to, for it to integrate with tools that we're already using? Yeah, absolutely. So Google Cloud NGFW, it allows being configured through the same uh, ways as other Google Cloud products. So through the console, through a command line interface, or the API, which makes life easier in terms of provisioning. And also Terraform, which is a key provisioning tool, is also supported. Um, on top of that, those type of solutions typically generate a lot of telemetry data. So all that information with Cloud NGFW is going to be available natively in cloud logging. And from there, you can extract, you can export, for example, to existing tools using uh, tools like to, um, PubSub, for example. And another thing is Google, Crawl, uh, Google Chronicle is also uh, supports a native integration with a native ingestion, so you can uh, get those logs parse them and provide a way to analyze, detect, uh, and take action on those security events if applicable. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty easy and not that challenging. It integrates into a lot of tools that we're already using most of the time, right? So we don't have to go out of our way to use it. So from the work you've been doing with customers, are you able to highlight you know, a few specific use cases or customer experiences that you can share with us? Yeah, sure, uh, happy to. I think the most uh, interesting use case uh, for this cloud next generation firewall is our customer are using that really as an effective tool to simplify their overall network design and at the same time strengthen the security posture. 
So with this one, um, they no longer have to struggle with the routing or changing their IP addresses, uh, spreading the traffic through the firewall box. No, they can turn it on anywhere uh, in the workload that they want to protect. Okay? The second one is, as I said, we have the hierarchical firewall policy. We see our customer you putting that at the organization level to easily block out the malicious site, you know, the, some geo regions are not allowed to go to, and fulfill uh, their regulatory compliance requirement. And furthermore, um, in order to satisfy some of the security compliance requirements in the cloud, when they happen to have built a very big subnet and put a bunch of different type of workload in the same subnet, uh, it used to be if you have to you know, present this to your security auditor and pass through the audition, it's not very easy. Now, we see them putting the tags and using tag-based rules to easily segment to different workload and satisfy the auditing requirement very easy. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm getting this pattern of we make it easy to secure your cloud, right? And I love being able to put it at the organization level, it kind of covers it in an umbrella sort of way. Really fascinating. Okay, so, so again, keeping with this theme of easy that I'm loving here, can you tell me how easy is it to implement and manage this cloud next generation firewall on a day-to-day -day basis, right? I'm doing my job day-to-day, -day and maybe I don't have extensive firewall experience. So what's that like? So cloud in GFW, uh, you, you know, is, is implemented using a distributed architecture like Tracy mentioned. And using that, it's easy to apply it to the workloads that you want not using just the traditional concepts of networking like IP ports and protocol, but going beyond that using the concept of tags, which is tightly integrated with IAM controls. So, you know, it, it, those tags allow only users and administrators um, who have the, the right permissions to use them. With intrusion, uh, intrusion prevention rules, it's set at the rule action, so you can apply that at a very granular level to only those flows that, that apply, so not everything. So with that said, you can insert uh, those types of functionalities um, in a non-disruptive way um, and without needing any route re-architecture. And in terms of integration, like we just talked, it can be integrated with all the existing tools, uh, both, both Google-owned or other vendors. Okay, so I don't have to have extensive firewall expertise to be able to use next generation firewall. I love that. All right, well, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you, and I'm so excited to watch your recorded talk. We'll also link it in the description, so make sure to check it out so you can see Tracy and Osvaldo go into more detail about Cloud Next Generation Firewall. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank Thanks you for having much. us, Debbie. And let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Cloud Next Generation Firewall?